Hi, my name is Xin Chen Yang. I'm a doctoral student at Shamish University of Technology in Sweden. This video is a popular science presentation that is prepared to briefly introduce my research topic to a broad audience who have no prior knowledge in this field. The research topic is about strengthening concrete structures with FRP composites. So, why do we need to strengthen concrete structures? How are they related to our daily life? And what is the FRP as mentioned here? I will first give you a background to answer these questions. Concrete is widely used to construct civil infrastructures such as bridges, dams, pavements, and buildings. They are crucial to the daily services and economic activities of our societies. However, more and more concrete infrastructures are becoming old and deficient. If we take a look at bridges as an example, in Europe, around 85% of bridges were made of concrete. However, a large number of European bridges were constructed after the Second World War. In Sweden, for example, one third of existing concrete bridges are older than 50 years. Old concrete bridges are commonly found signs of deterioration, such as the corrosion of steel reinforcement bars in the concrete. Yes, there is steel reinforcement embedded in concrete structures. This is why they are called reinforced concrete. The deterioration would reduce the performance of concrete bridges during their service life. Besides the degradation of performance, the increase in vehicle weight and traffic volume also set demands for higher capacities of existing bridges over its original level. To accommodate the increase in demand and assure the safety of existing bridges, transport agencies on behalf of us taxpayers will allocate substantial budgets to strengthen them. This explains why transport agencies are putting high priorities on the research of robust and efficient strengthening techniques for existing bridges. The robust and efficient strengthening to us taxpayers means fulfilling our commuting demands with reduced costs and less disruption of traffic. Well, to upgrade the performance of concrete structures, it has been a well-established technique to use FRP as externally bounded reinforcement. FRP stands for Fiber Reinforced Polymer. It's a composite material consisting of fibers embedded in a polymer matrix. The fibers provide strength, while the polymer matrix acts as a binder to protect fibers. These two images show the product of CFRP plates and how they are bounded to concrete surface. CFRP plate has continuous carbon fibers in the length direction so as to provide superior strength in tension. Compared with steel that we are familiar with, the CFRP is much lighter. Its density is one third of steel. CFRP is as stiff as steel, whereas its tensile strength can be five times of steel reinforcement. So, due to its desirable properties, CFRP plate is commonly used for the purposes of strengthening. This figure explains how the CFRP plate is used to strengthen a concrete beam subjected to bending. The CFRP plate is externally bounded to the bottom face of concrete beam. It acts as tensile reinforcement and works together with the original steel bars to provide a higher resistance to bending. Although CFRP plates have high tensile strength, as we discussed previously, the utilization of its strength 
is usually limited by the problem of debounding. The debounding can be induced by the stress concentration at the ends of bounded plates or cracks developed in beams. The utilization of bounded CFRP might also be limited if it's applied to deteriorated concrete beams. If we take a look at this beam with corroded steel reinforcement, the corrosion of steel bar will cause expansion of its volume and thus induce longitudinal cracks in surrounding concrete cover. It means that no matter how good the CFRP is bounded to the concrete, the spoiling of concrete cover tends to occur and leads to the failure of beam at a low load level. Well, to treat these limitations of existing techniques and meet the demands for robust and efficient strengthening, the research work during my PhD study designed and investigated three FRP systems. They aimed to provide the strengthening of existing concrete structures with higher utilization of FRP strength, more strengthening outcomes, and reduced costs. Well, back to the strengthening of the corroded beam, I will take it as an example to describe one of the designed FRP systems and how it was investigated in my current research. As illustrated in this figure, this FRP system includes a CFRP plate marked in black color and U wraps in gray color. The CFRP plate is bounded to the bottom side of the beam as tensile reinforcement to improve bending capacity of the beam. This was discussed in our previous slides. Well, U wraps are also made of CFRP. They are installed to wrap three faces of the beam to prevent the separation of concrete cover so as to utilize the tensile CFRP as much as possible. This image shows the FRP system applied to corroded concrete beams in the lab. Before bounding the FRP composites, the beams had been deteriorated so as to have corroded steel reinforcement and the corrosion induced the cracks. You can see that the idea of this system is not complex. It basically combines different FRP materials in an innovative configuration to fully utilize the strength of FRP and maximize the strengthening outcomes. Compared to the preliminary concept, the challenging tasks are how to design and optimize the dimension and amount of FRP in the system. This requires mechanism analysis and good understanding of structural behaviors. So the design FRP system still need to be investigated and verified by experimental tests. The corroded concrete beams with or without strengthening were tested to investigate their performance in bending until failure. Let's take a look at the results of the bending tests. The figure on the right hand side shows the bending behavior of three groups of tested specimens. The curves record the deflection at mid span of the beam with the increase in load. The black ones are the reference beams without corrosion and without strengthening. The yellow curves are beams with corroded steel reinforcement. And the red curves are corroded beams strengthened with the FRP system. If we compare the black and yellow curves, we can see that the bending capacity is reduced by 50% approximately due to the corrosion of steel reinforcement. However, when the corroded beams were strengthened with the FRP system, their capacities were greatly increased by about 400%. Even if we compare with the original capacity of reference group, the capacity of the strengthened group is still 150% higher. So to sum up, the comparison of bending behaviors proved that the FRP system was efficient in strengthening corroded concrete beams. Instead of presenting more test results, I'd like to share with you some of the new techniques used in the experiments of the current research. 
For example, using a 3D optical scanner, we can obtain the digital model of steel bars. Based on the digital models, scripts can be programmed to accurately estimate the geometry of the models. So we can obtain the cross-sectional area, for example, along the length of the bar. In comparison, conventional method used in previous research was just to weigh the mass loss, which can only estimate average level of the corrosion. For the steel bars in this beam, for example, the average corrosion level is around 20% in the corroded segments of the bars. No doubt, this average value cannot represent the local corrosion level at critical sections, which was up to 50%. So powered by the 3D scanning, the local corrosion level can be evaluated to explain and verify this 50% decrease in capacity of corroded beams as we discussed in the previous slide. If you are interested to know more details of my research on FRP strengthening systems, you can visit website research.shamesh.se and search my name. It gives open access to my PhD thesis and the related publications. A brief summary in the end. In this presentation, we introduced why old concrete structures, such as concrete bridges, need to be strengthened and how it's related to our daily life. We learned what is FRP composite and how to use FRP to strengthen concrete beams and the limitations of existing FRP technique. One of the FRP systems in my research was discussed to show its efficiency investigated in experimental studies. To get most out of experimental tests, 3D scanning is introduced as one of the new techniques used to power the measurement and evaluation of experiments. Further information of my research work is accessible on website research.shamesh.se. You can also use the link below this video to provide me with your precious feedback on this presentation. Thanks for your watching. This was a popular science presentation from Chalmers University of Technology in Sweden.